hi guys welcome to this video my name is moyo if you're new and you're so welcome to she bites um if you're new where have you been if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for i make videos all about food faith and lifestyle and you're so welcome to this video so today i'm going to be talking about um africans versus african americans it's just something that has come to like to my radar in recent times and i've just been like what actually is this like i didn't know that such things exist i didn't know that we could argue or talk about stuff like this so i just feel like from my upbringing i've never been to america any part of the americas um i've never been to the u.s um so i feel like i haven't really encountered this in real life but it's just been like on online that i've been seeing so much of this but i feel like you know growing up when for me personally when you see like african americans when you see um black people on the internet you just obviously feel that in some way you can connect to them on tv or whatever there's some way that you guys are similar um which is true which is a reality but you know you hear all these things about how african americans say africans don't like them africans say african americans are stuck up and they don't like us because well, i'm african they don't like africans um and stuff like that and i just feel like it's just a funny thing number one when someone said the whole thing of how Africans don't like African Americans, I realized that it's kind of, I don't want to say it's kind of true, but there is a reason for such misconceptions. There are Africans who think that, or who label African Americans in certain ways, which also makes them want to be like, uh. But then I've also heard of African Americans who say things like, oh, they don't leave America, they don't come to Africa, like, you get what, you get what I mean? And I've just been doing lots of research recently because I was talking to my cousins also about this, about how I didn't even know that Caribbeans were originally from Africa. Like, you know how at the back of your head you're supposed to know that all black people origin come from Africa. But then at the same time, you just, like, I assumed, okay, I don't want to share my misconceptions, maybe I should. Basically, I just thought that, you know, like when the earth was one, like, landmass, and then it split up, I just thought that some black people went on some of the ones that split up and then the caribbeans was like its own place as opposed to it was still slave trade that took a lot of africans especially west africans to the caribbean islands and stuff like that so um the thing about the whole african versus african american argument is that africans number one you cannot expect african americans to act african because that is the whole point they're disconnected from their roots they don't know where in africa they're from they didn't grow up in africa it's the same way africans even in diaspora who have never been to africa or who were brought up, but not brought up in very, uh, very African homes. You cannot expect them to act African or be African. They have been able to develop their own cultures, which you associate with being, with being black, but it's still very American, it's still very wherever it is that they come from. And we have to accept that we have to hold on to that. Um, we're grateful for things like 23 and Me now, where you can actually find out where you're from and stuff like that. But it doesn't change the historical background that you have of like 300, 400, 200 years of like being disconnected from where you're from so your traditions your culture the way you live the way you speak the way your culture and your orientation is just completely different from a person who is actually from africa despite if you live in the same area in today in 2019 so i just feel like that's something that africans have to hold in mind that because they're not acting the way you expect black people to act doesn't mean that they're not you know they're not entitled to having their own culture doesn't mean that they're trying to be snobbish or um not they're not they're trying not to embrace you and that is usually not the case it's just the fact that they have a different culture because of the history and the background that they've lived and that was not by choice it happened because of things that happened in history it happened because of slave trade it happened because they were they lost you know their history they lost where they were from they lost their culture and their traditions and they had to form new ones for themselves so i think in that sense we have to really you know try to just be humble and accept each other for who we are and then the reverse argument, which is that um, African Americans don't like Africans. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> That's actually just the truth. But I feel like in the same vein, it's the whole thing of us having different cultures and traditions. But people want to lump us in because we're all black. Yes, we're all black, but there's Africans, there's African Americans, there's African, um, there's African Americans, there's Trini people, there's Jamaicans, there are Africans from so many different countries where you know we had these. Um, Slave trade, slave trade and everything happened and sometimes they are more american more british more um what is it called french and they are african simply because of the place that they grew up in not because they're, they're trying to dissociate themselves with africa although a lot of african people living in the diaspora a lot of african people taken by slave trade are trying to dissociate themselves from africa a lot of africans are trying to dissociate themselves from africa because of the rhetoric that's being told about us because of how we are represented to the media and so above all this is also a challenge to africans see that we need to redefine the place that we come from 
we need to also be an example of the place that we come from. If African Americans, if I don't know British black people, if non British black people, like I mean like British Africans, like the ones that men their sins, yes. <laughs> so um, if they meet you and all you are is a reflection of the thing that we don't like about Africa, all you are is um unquote is that the word unquote abi unquote abi whatever whatever um whatever you are is um ill mannered all you are is um rude all you are is overly forward then you're just going to reinforce the rhetoric that they have about Africa but then I feel that we also need to um what is it called as Africans wherever we are living uh, wherever we are living in Africa or wherever else we are we also need to reinforce the positive rhetoric of where we're from which is the beauty of our culture the beauty of our food the beauty of our music the beauty of who we are as people our hospitality um, our fun nature we need to come bring that forward more and show the world that Africa is not what Africa thinks what the world thinks it is and so that when even these people are able to you know find their roots and understand where they're from they'll be happy and joyous to know and understand and we also need to be welcoming to them and to the culture that they're coming from because they did not grow up in Africa like they're an African like because you're African doesn't mean that you're born with this innate thing to understand everything about the place that you're from even though you don't know where that place is do you understand like yes if they find out where they're from they might feel some kind of connection they might want to go back but without that are we actually doing things that would draw them in that wants that will want them to make that will want them to that will make them that would make them want to know more about the place that they're from as Africans as ambassadors of our beautiful continent as um, people who can bring forward the diversity the beauty of our land are we actually representing are we actually putting our rifle forward are we actually telling the true story of what lies back in the countries that we're from or are we you know promoting the narrative the negative narrative are we promoting negative rhetoric are we part of the problem basically but then uh, the bottom line of this whole discussion is that there's no difference between Africans and African Americans we're all from the same place the internet is different is where we where we grew up from the same way in, as a Nigerian like meeting a Kenyan we're different the same way as a Nigerian meeting I don't know um someone from Haiti we're different Anyways, it's time to come back on now, but I'm ending this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, I want to hear more about this discussion. You can send me a message on Instagram. You can comment down below. And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, on Twitter, um, and my page on, and like my page on Facebook, do that now. All the details are in the description box below. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.